Hebrews chapter 12. If you are without discipline, then you are not legitimate sons. Hebrews chapter 12 continues the encouragement of chapter 11, urging believers to run the race of faith with perseverance. It discusses the necessary discipline involved in spiritual growth. It contrasts the terrifying revelation of God at Mount Sinai with that of the gracious approach at the heavenly Mount Zion. The chapter concludes with a warning about refusing God's message, and it exhorts believers to show gratitude and acceptable worship. Hebrews chapter 12 Analysis by Sections and Verses Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 through 3 The Race of Faith The author encourages believers to run the race of faith with endurance, using the metaphor of a long-distance race. As believers, we are urged to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily besets us. We must instead look to Jesus. The chapter describes Jesus as the founder and perfecter of our faith. He says that because of the joy set before him, Jesus endured the shame of the cross and is now seated at the right hand of God. Believers are encouraged to consider Jesus so that they will not grow weary or lose heart. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 4 through 13. The Lord disciplines those whom he loves. This section discusses the experience of discipline as a sign of God's love and as a part of spiritual growth. The author encourages believers to endure hardship as discipline citing Proverbs 3 verses 11 to 12. The hardship believers endure is compared to a father disciplining his son. The goal of this discipline is the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 14 through 17. A warning against rejecting God's grace. The author warns against falling short of God's grace so that no root of bitterness might spring up that would defile many other believers. He warns us to flee immorality and uses the example of Esau who sold his birthright for a single meal. It is emphasized that Esau's decision had severe and irreversible consequences. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 18 through 29 his kingdom that cannot be shaken. The author compares the terrifying scene of Mount Sinai with the gracious approach to the heavenly Mount Zion, which is the city of the living God. This section ends with a warning about refusing the one who speaks from heaven. He gives an exhortation to believers to be thankful and to have acceptable worship with reverence and awe. He says that our God is a consuming fire. Summary Hebrews chapter 12 provides practical application and encouragement for running the race that is before us with perseverance. It illustrates how faith is lived out in the context of discipline, endurance, and the pursuit of peace and holiness. The chapter contrasts the Old and New Covenants by comparing Mount Sinai and Mount Zion. It emphasizes the privilege and responsibility of living under the New Covenant. The chapter concludes with a strong reminder of God's unshakable kingdom and His character as a consuming fire, urging believers to show gratitude and reverence. Question. Are you with or without discipline? Click the subscribe button below, then click the all button to be notified of our latest videos. Thank you for subscribing.